anyways, back to what I was trying to say before I got interrupted. Um, I thought by the time I was 30, I thought I'd be married, engaged, or having another kid or something like that, you know, but it's not getting where I want it to be. Um, I just, I don't know. I'm, I'm ready for this year to be done. I'm ready for this year to be over with. The last two and a half years have been a complete, utter ass nightmare. Like, a complete, utter ass nightmare. And, and, um, now that I have a special person in my life, I'm really grateful that this person has came into my life at the right time, the right moment, and everything else. Um, nobody really knows this, but I have been praying to God for over 30 years. And I've been praying to God, asking Him to lead me in the right direction, to lead me in the right way to give me, you know, everything I've ever wanted in my life and to, you know, let me have what I want in my life. Yeah, has my life been easy? No, no. My life has been hell on wheels. My life has been tested time after 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 time again. My life has been completely tested. And honestly, I can't take it. Honestly, I'm done being tested. I'm done. I mean, I know they say stuff happens for unexplainable explanations, but this year alone has been one of the roughest years of my life. And overall, this has been a nightmare overall. And to have somebody that came into my life at the right moment makes me extremely happy, extremely thankful, extremely just everything. And on top of everything else, I'm really hoping that I can pull my life together and pull everything together on top of it that I need. My strength, my love, my happiness, everything. Because I'm just, I'm just to my point anymore. I am tired of battling for everything in my life. I'm tired of having sh struggles. And I feel like it's so hilarious that in the past, how a lot of my old relationships has been nothing about be me being accused of being a gold digger, me being accused of this, me being, you know, brought down, pulled in the dirt, my reputation trashed, my reputation ruined. You know, and it's like, I'm not even like that. If you really get to know me, know me, and know my story, and know what I've really been through, you would see I'm not this bad person that everybody has has made me out to be. And if you really understood my story, and you really understood, you, you know, what I've been through within the last God knows how many years, you would see that I'm not this person that everybody's trying to make me out to be. And, um, anyways, oh, I know where I left off. I've been praying to God for years to give me a husband to, or give me a fiance or something. And I told him like what I was looking for. And I've had conversations with God myself, you know, multiple times over and over and over and over and over and over. And, they say God works in mysterious ways, which is true. And come to find out, bada boom, bada bam. I land this amazing guy, amazing sweetheart, amazing person. And he's been so good to me. He's been really caring, really understanding, really just everything. And for me, that's rare because... Just, you know, being with him and knowing him and talking to him and texting him and just getting to know one another, it just, it just to me, it, it helps in a lot of ways. And, um, for me, going through hell like this that I've been through, I don't wish this on nobody. And... For me, myself and I, as like a mom and, you know, a girl and 
a woman, you know, that's been through a lot, you know, yeah, my life needs to be better. My life needs to be stronger. My life needs to be where it needs to honestly be. A lot of my friends are happy and they have their own houses and they have their own careers and everything else. You know, that's what I want. I want my own house one day. I want my own career, which I know what I want to do. I'm not stupid on that. I, I already know what I want to do. So, plus on top of it, I want to run, like, multiple businesses. I want to do, you know, a lot of stuff. And going through this, the last almost two and a half years has been nothing but a pure nightmare. And I wouldn't wish this on nobody. I really wouldn't. And having this person in my life has shown me a lot of strength, a lot of positivity, a lot of power, I guess you could say. And um, I'm grateful that I get to have the experiences I have in my life. I'm grateful that I have what I have in my life for a reason. I'm grateful that I have my job in my life now again and everything goes good. You know, I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful that I've made amazing, like this journey just of working wise has been an amazing journey so far. Like I've made a lot of cool friends. I've made a lot of new relationships with my, with my friends. And I've got a lot of close personal, you know, f friends too. And I just feel like, I don't know, I just feel like this is what I want. I want to start making brand new friends. And plus on top of it all, I still have to move. I still got to get that done, which I need to get that done sooner than later. I need to start trying to save up money, which I've been trying to for months. I ain't going to lie. But being a mom and taking care of Trey and having to, you know, buy him clothes and stuff for school and everything else, it's like, it's been rough. The journey's been rough. I ain't gonna lie. It's been rough. And I never thought at 30 years old that me and the father and my son, we would be standing in court arguing over a child. Like, I never thought it would get that petty betty. But it has. And... I've just been praying to God a lot to get me through these next couple of months so I can get this nightmare out of my life for good. Like, I'm just ready for this nightmare to be over with and done with and just out of my way. Like, that's that's just all I want. And, um, I don't know. I just want my nightmare gone and out of my life for good and not have to worry about shit. You know, that's just what I don't want. You know, I deserve to be happy. I deserve to live my life the way I want to live it. And me going back to work, I feel like I need this because I'm tired of being stuck. I'm tired of being here. I'm tired of dealing with drama and stress and anxiety and everything else. The sooner I get this done, the sooner I can get to the next step I need to be at. And if you guys understood what I'm going through right now, you would understand why. My life has not been easy. I've had struggles. I've had times where I couldn't even go out at month for months at a time, which currently I'm going through that right now for a lot of reasons. But that's my own personal info. But, you know, I've had a lot of projects I've gotten started since I've been home and a lot of other stuff. Like, I've I found a couple of things I'm passionate for. I found a couple of projects I've gotten started, what I want to do with them. And I truly believe in my heart, I truly deep, deep, deep down believe that things happen for a reason in your life and purposes and everything else. And I just honestly... How do I put this? I just honestly am hoping that I can get to where I need to be with my journey, get to where I need to honestly be at with my journey, and get everything done that I need. And if I have the support, like I'm starting to get now, 
I could do that. I can get where I need to be. I can do what I need to do. I can, you know, do things I need to be doing and not having to depend on nobody. And, you know, yeah, I'm a big believer in, like, your own faith, your own ways, your own dreams, your own miracles and stuff. And I know, deep down in my heart, I know what I want. And I have found it. And I know without a doubt that God puts people in people's lives for a reason and a purpose. And I am really honestly hoping that deep down that when that time comes, hopefully by the end of this year, I can announce what I've been wanting to announce forever. Like, forever. And I'm not even joking you that. I started vlogging a year back. And I still have every single video, every single vlog I've done, every single thing. I've, I've gotten all my videos throughout this whole journey. Like, I've got multiple video channels, multiple accounts on here that helps with the vlogging that I get so many haters oh you're you look like a horse face you look like a horse this that how am I a horse face I'm not an animal and it's like people are just so rude and it's just like I'm coming up on the two year or no one year anniversary of my dog actually being gone I lost my chihuahua last year the end of last year December the 7th of 2020 while we were going through the pandemic my dog had died and that I was not expecting my son was not here for that and I just thank God in a way that he wasn't here because I did not want to scar him with that that's one thing I did not want him to, to be scarred from and going through that and losing another animal in my in my family and in my life that's unbelievable that pain that hurt that anguish that everything and now we're getting closer to the one year anniversary of her being gone and i just i'm hoping sooner than later that i can finally bring him home to see her so he can actually you know say his goodbyes in person so I know he keeps telling me he wants to see her. He wants to see her. He wants to say his final goodbyes. And I have lost so many people in my life. And people want to make fun of me for it. People want to say it's a joke. People think I'm lying about everything. And I'm not. The thing is you got to know me. The thing is you got to understand me. The thing is you got to know my personality. I tell it like it is. I don't sugarcoat shit. And I'm not hiding shit. I don't hide shit for nobody. I don't lie. I don't do any of that. Well, I'm not I'm not saying I'm perfect because I'm not. But I wouldn't lie to somebody I care everything about. I'm not that type of person. I don't sugarcoat shit. I don't hide shit. I don't lie about shit. You know, I tell it how it is. And if you don't like it, then that's too bad. That's your own fault. That's your own problem. Your own issue. But... Having this person in my life really means a lot. I'll say that. This person has shown me strength that nobody else has. And going through these health problems, I knew it was not going to be easy. I knew it was going to be hard and tough and not easy to do. But at least I'm starting somewhere, the starting point. At least I'm starting where I need to be. I'm starting where my life needs to get to. I'm starting where my journey needs to to be. I've got to support myself. i got to not depend on... I'm not trying to sound excess when I say this, but I'm not trying to depend on a man. I don't want a man to have to take care of me, you know, financially wise and all that. I've always been that way. I've always been like that. I, the only little guy that I support is my kid, no matter what. And it's going to be like that. And nobody's going to stop me. 
I'm a goal setter. I'm a goal getter. I go after my dreams and I'm going after what I want. And doing this vlogging since I kind of got inspired, I've noticed has started helping relieve a lot from my past, relieve a lot of hurt, relieve a lot of anguish, relieve a lot of stress. And it does help. I'll say that. And having a special person in my life to straighten me out is what I need. I ain't gonna lie. Yes, y'all, I put my hair up for a lot of reasons. Ah, sorry, y'all. But, um, I, I wear my hair up a lot because it's hot outside and I sweat like crazy. Like, I ain't gonna lie. I sweat like crazy. And if y'all want to know, yeah, this is the hand I gotta have looked into. First, it was this one at the beginning of this year. Now it's this one. I swear, I have, like, the shittiest of luck. I go see the vascular surgeon September 1st. My neurologist, uh, yeah, not October, August the 31st. So, yeah, I'm still not out of the neck of the woods yet. I, you guys don't understand. I neglected my health to, to take care of my child, and that's what I've done. And I'm not proud of myself. I'm not proud of it. I'm not proud of what I did. I'm really not. Because if I would have known I was going to have all these, all these health problems, I would have never done myself wrong like that. But I put my health on the back burner because of my son. My son means more to me than anything in this world. And whoever comes into my life has got to understand my kid comes first. I'm sorry, but that's how it's got to be. I would never choose a man over my kid. I love my son to death. I would never do that to him. I respect my son. I love him. He means everything to me. My son is my life. My son is my whole world. He's my miracle, baby. That is my miracle child. And, yeah, has my parenting been easy? No. My parenting journey has been really, really tough. Raising a son by myself, it's been tough. Been severely tough. And that's something else I'm kind of working through is my emotions towards the father of my kid and how I feel about that. And that's why I've kind of said in past vlog videos that I'm going to family counseling for is because of that. It's because I've realized that I need to get that off my back and I need to get this boulder off my shoulder. I know that sounded weird and it rhymed. I get it. But um, I officially start back to work Sunday night. Which I'm excited because I finally needed to get my ass up and out of here because I need to get out of here sooner than later. I need to get shit done before court, which is like in a month and a half. I need to get this shit done. I need to be out of here. I need to be with my fiance. I need to be happy with him. And we are working together to try to get where we need to be for not only us, but for our future. So... All right, I'm going to kind of cut it short here because I'm kind of going to see how this goes. So, all right, like, hit the like button, subscribe, and follow. And hit your boy up, B.Stokes5.0. Hit his, hit his own actual thing up and tell him that Stacy Star sent y'all. Deuces. Have a good day. Deuces.